is up YouTube thrift school over here outside of Goodwill it is freezing rain outside but we're gonna go inside and try to find some things to sell over on eBay and Amazon I have a couple awesome videos coming out uh, I haven't been able to upload them because I misplaced my SD card reader I filmed them on my camera so we are using my phone right now we're gonna head inside though um, but just a quick Note before we walk in, we'll actually head in there right now. I'll lock the car with my keys. And I don't want to get soaking wet. But uh, just a quick note, the videos coming out, I purchased about 200 comic books and about 100 game guides, video game guides. So we'll see how those things do, but those videos are really cool. But let's head inside. So first things first, gotta head to that glass case, see what the store cherry picked, and oh my gosh, this Pokemon Monopoly is still here for $45. That has been there for quite a while if you guys watch my videos. Uh, look at this, a signed CD from the cast of Glee for 20 bucks. We have some Ringo Starr things, we have a Jack Youngblood signed card, we have, oh this is interesting, an OJ Simpson signed picture for $20. Um, this actually might have been worth it. There's no way to tell if it's a real signature or not. There's no certificate of authenticity or anything like that. Uh, so I decided to leave it behind. I could have possibly still sold it and made money, but I don't know if it's real. I don't want to get a return. I don't want somebody telling me, oh, this isn't an authentic signature. So I usually leave those things to the wayside. Now, this is kind of cool right here, a little CD player thing. It has its power plug, which I never see anywhere, but this specific model wasn't worth anything, as you guys can see. Just no money to be made in that. So we're going to keep moving, and I do end up finding something pretty interesting here. This is a Linksys home monitoring home monitoring system. It's a camera, $6. Uh, I thought it was brand new. You guys will see what happens later with this, but I thought it was brand new at 6 bucks. I was going to make like $40, $50. Super happy about that. Uh, ended up not being new, sadly. <laughs> Here's a Crawley iJuke. I remember these. These were really popular at one time. Shipping on that thing would be insane. It wasn't in the best of shape. Maybe I shouldn't have left it behind. Maybe they were only asking 10 bucks for it and I could have sold it for 200. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I don't look everything up even though I always preach to do it because you never know what you're leaving on the table. I did look up this very, very dirty clock and yeah, there was no money there. It wasn't even on Amazon, but I did scan some puzzles. Always scan everything new you see. Uh, you never know. These puzzles at two bucks each, they're going for, I think one was going for about 20. The other one wasn't even, uh, didn't have any sellers on Amazon. So you could name your own price. I love when that happens. Naming your own price is one of my favorite things because right around quarter four, it's Christmas time. People are shopping. I could probably list it for 50 bucks and it will sell. I don't know if I'll list it for $50, but we'll see how much I end up getting for it. It is pretty crazy what people will pay this time of year. Now, this isn't anything that's worth anything, that smoothie maker, but keep an eye out for this. I'll pop it up on the screen right now, this Margaritaville 3 blender system. I've always been on the lookout for these. They go for an insane amount of money. I'm always looking locally. I'm always looking on at thrift stores, at pawn shops. I have never found one, so keep an eye out. That is one of my white whales that I want to find because they're worth good money, and you know, at a thrift store, I feel like they'd only charge 20 bucks for it, who knows? This is pretty sweet, this Flashpad 3.0. I'm always finding these, I'm always buying and selling them. I like to test them, make sure they work, tap all these little lights that pop up, make sure it responds to it, and hey, it seems to be working well. This is on Amazon about 20 or so dollars, and uh, over on eBay, I'm not so sure how well they sell, but you can sell this stuff on eBay, guys. Just because I'm putting it on Amazon doesn't mean it's not worth it to sell on eBay. A lot of this stuff is. I just prefer Amazon this time of year because things are selling fast. Check out this Taco Saurus Rex. They wanted five bucks for it. No money to be made, sadly. I thought this was weird and kitschy and unique. Original price of $30 at Kohl's, but on Amazon, it's not selling for anywhere near that <laughs> so i had to leave it behind but i almost bought it for myself super cool and that's the great thing about thrifting all the time guys i am always finding items for myself to keep that's one of my favorite parts about this i get to find things that maybe i've always been looking for something that catches my eye some gifts for people you're able to find these things at dirt cheap prices and if you walk into a thrift store and don't find anything hey there's nothing wrong with that happens all the time you guys don't see it every single time I upload a video because those would be pretty boring videos um, but I am finding some decent stuff here uh, 
ten dollars on this crazy price that white sticker means it's from target i'm not sure if your goodwill does the same thing but my goodwill purchases pallets from target and they sell off targets clearance items that didn't sell in store so moving on over to the dvds i find a whole bunch of brand new sealed pc games I thought maybe I hit the jackpot. They didn't look like anything great. At two bucks each, though, you never know. If I can make five bucks a pop on these, we're doing pretty darn good. Well, I scanned them all. None of them were going for anything. The ranks were extremely high, which means that they take a long time to sell. So I left them behind, which is a shame because my cart's not super full right now. I always take a quick look at the VHS tapes, guys. You never know if you're going to find some sealed Disney movies, some... Uh, VHS cleaners. Now, here's something to keep an eye out for. Not the Black Diamond tapes, the classics. These aren't really worth money, but if they are sealed, you can maybe sell them for $10, $15. There's still money in them, just not that insane, absurd $200, $300, $400, $1,000 that you know, all these websites like BuzzFeed and stuff post online. Um, but I do like to look for sealed ones because at a dollar, if you're buying them at the thrift store, you can still flip them for 10, 15 bucks pretty quick. Now, Blank Media is another thing I like to buy and sell. These were priced individually. They were only singles and eh, not really worth it. I have a whole bunch of singles at my house that I've been saving up, but I like to buy them in big bulk quantities of maybe eight VHS tapes for $2, things like that. That's how I like to buy them. And then I lot them up and sell them that way. There is money in blank media, whether it be CDs, uh, VHS tapes, cassettes, things like that. Now, taking a look through the books, I don't buy and sell a lot of books. I want to look up this ISBN number right here since it didn't have a barcode, and it wasn't worth anything, sadly. So, I'm, I'm kind of not striking out. I'm striking out with the hard goods. So, I want to move to the clothing. $20. You guys saw the price on the bottom of that shoe. I, I left it behind. I did look it up. Uh, not really a lot of money to be made. Here's some Keen uh, shoes, $6, but they're really small kids ones. That might have been a good pickup. But then I see some adult Keen shoes. Oh, 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 what is that? There's like brown paint all over them. Didn't see a price on that shoe, so I look on this shoe. $10? These things are beat. They got brown paint all over them, and they're asking $10. So... Um, the shoes have always been pretty overpriced at my local thrift stores, but maybe your thrift stores have good prices on shoes and you should look into them. And again, this one, I $20, I couldn't bring myself to spend 20 bucks on a pair of Adidas. Uh, again, clothing, you know, my local thrift stores, they price a little high when it comes to clothing. $10 for this Orvis. You might be able to sell it for 20 but that's just not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for fast selling, Vineyard Vines, Patagonia, things like that. Stuff that everybody really looks for. So odds of me finding it are usually pretty slim, especially with these prices at 10 bucks a pop. Um, let me know down below in the comments, guys. At your thrift stores, what is the like overpriced item that you always see? Is it your books? Is it your hard goods, your electronics, your clothing, your shoes, your media? Every thrift store is completely different in that way, and that's why I always recommend going to a different section of the thrift store. Maybe a section you've never been to. Check out the glassware, check out the electronics, check out the clothing, check out the toys, right? There's always sections of the thrift store that are either underpriced or overpriced. If the entire thrift store is overpriced, well, there's not much you can do about that, but I guarantee there's got to be something. I'm sure I passed up a bunch of things here that I just don't know about. I'm always learning. I always recommend learning. I thought this would be a great score. $145 for this vest. They were wanting, I think, $20 for it. Uh, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> so not everything is worth money, guys. Let's leave here and see what I got. All right, so we just left the Goodwill. This is everything I picked up, pretty much what you guys saw. Nothing phenomenal. I did put back that camera. I opened it up real quick just to make sure. Oh, no, my car is going to do this. There we go. <laughs> I opened it up just to make sure, and it was missing the power cord. So I had to leave it. Good thing I opened it up, and guys, always check inside of the boxes, especially if you're able to open them. Obviously, when they're taped up or sealed, you can't really do that. But, you know, it looked brand new to me. I opened it up, no power cord. So good thing I did that. Now, we did get these two puzzles, $2 each. I'll flash the prices up here on the screen for you guys. Not bad for 2 bucks each. Uh, I'm going to definitely make some good money there. This puzzle actually has nobody selling it on Amazon. So, 
$4, I get to dictate my price. I don't know. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to price high and just wait. I think $30, $40 and then bring it down. I sell puzzles all the time for way more than that. So I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility for me to get that kind of price for this. I actually am pretty confident that I will. And if for some reason I don't, hey, 20 bucks, I am happy. Now for the last item, it's an electronic, guys. I pick these up all the time. This is Flashpad 3.0. I've never found a purple one before. Maybe purple goes for a little bit more money, but I tested it. Works good. You can see there's some scratches and stuff on it. They're always like that. But the power button's on the bottom, and I always test it by just... Uh, choosing this game chase me because you have to click on so many of the buttons here so it just lets you know that they all work and you just have to hit it you can hear the sound works um oh one didn't show up that's not good so maybe oh let's see maybe one of these lights don't work that is interesting let's try this one more time and see Oh, I missed that. We're going to have to do a little more testing, I guess. That was not good. So we'll do a little more testing on this. If there's a way for me to light up all the lights on here, uh, somebody let me know down below because maybe one of these games lights up all the lights. So we'll look into that more later, but still not a bad haul, guys. I paid, uh, what did I spend in there? Not a lot of money. Uh, $9.56. That is a solid score to possibly make, I don't know, 20, 40, 60. I mean, on the low end, we're looking at about $75. So that is awesome uh, for less than $10 spent to make about 75 bucks. Now, obviously, I'm not making that right off the bat. I have to wait for these things to sell, but I ship them into Amazon and they're not in my house anymore. They're not taking up space. And that's why I do Amazon FBA. Nothing for eBay this time. I did look, but there just wasn't much in there. It's kind of late. It's about eight o'clock. Oh no, it's about, yeah, it's about eight o'clock at night. So time to go home, get some rest. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. If you have any questions at all, subscribe. If you haven't already, this is Thrift School signing out. See ya.